On a previous video, I showed you how easy it is to use aliases with analytical accounting. So instead of coding each dimension individually, you could set up an alias and just code it to the one alias and all of the fields would populate for you. So let's talk about how we can import aliases so we don't have to enter them one at a time. On the financial window, under cards, analytical accounting, we'll choose alias. Now this is the same window that we create the aliases for manually. And you can see I have one set up for convergence for 2017 for hotel expense as the task. Now this is the only one I have out there now and I want to import all of them for my convergence 2017. And to do this I will create an Excel file and here I've created it. And it must be in this exact format. So row 1 must be blank. Then A, column A is alias. Column B is the description for the alias. C is the short description for the alias. And in column D, we're going to enter in the transaction dimensions that are affiliated with this alias. And in column E is the code that goes with the corresponding transaction dimension. So these might, each alias might be more than uh, two lines. It might be six lines if you have six dimensions and you would just simply save your file. So I'm going to do a file save as and just save mine out to my desktop. We'll call it uh, um, AA and save. And I'm going to close that out. So now under alias, in my alias maintenance window, I'll simply click on import and I'll browse out and find my AA worksheet. There it is. And now I'm going to see all the different worksheets within that Excel file. And I put my import data in Sheet 1. I will uh, select a log destination and I'll just leave it right there. And I'll click on OK. And now it's going to go out and import all of my data. So do I want to see the log file? I will. It tells me no error message. I successfully imported. And now you can see all of my other aliases codes available for use. This is significantly easier than doing it one at a time by hand. So, I hope this helps.